My name's Russ Swift, I call myself a precision driver. Um, a lot of people see it as stunts and uh, a, lot of, a lot of the things I do are, are called stunts, but uh, it, it's all techniques that I learnt in, in club motorsport uh, 40 years ago. My uh, career came about through my auto testing. I was asked to show off my auto testing skills as a, a contender in the British Auto Test Championship uh, on a number of occasions and, and decided that nobody had ever really exploited the, the, the tricks that, you know, the skills that were used in that to, as a form of entertainment and, and put together uh, a display and, and from, from 1981 when I did my first display it just snowballed and, uh, and I, I've, I've done it full time for a living ever since. I've driven lots of unusual things. Uh, I've driven mobility scooters on two wheels, everything from tiny things like that to, uh, I think the largest thing I've ever driven on two wheels was a 17 ton Steyr truck, which was a six wheeler, uh, which uh, which gave me an ulcer and nearly put an end of my career. It nearly killed me with because uh, I was absolutely uh, churned up with fear driving that uh, thing. But uh, fortunately, uh, a lot of the other things uh, aren't uh, so unusual, but I think that's probably one that sticks out in my mind quite vividly. I, I can honestly say I never ever look at the instruments. Uh, I'm, I've always got too many other things to look at. Uh, I, I, I do it through the sound of the engine, and uh, I, I, you, you won't hear me bouncing bounce the valves. It's not these manoeuvres aren't the sort of things that uh, you need to sort of get you know, the, the total amount of power out of. Uh, but but um, I'm, most of the time I'm looking backwards anywhere. So unless there's a speedo and a rev counter on the uh, on the back window, then I have no chance of seeing anything. But uh, no, I, I never look at the instruments at all. I have done my stunts in a limo. I remember doing uh, the launch of the Proton car in Malaysia in 1989 and it, and it was a big national occasion for them because it was the first time that Malaysia had ever produced their own car and I actually drove the Prime Minister's limousine uh, down Medica Square, which is our, their equivalent of Trafalgar Square, uh, on two wheels with, uh, with the, uh, the Prime Minister sat in the back. But, uh, it, it, got the, it got national news uh, all over the country. Yeah. I need to adjust my technique for every different event. Um, every surface is different and, and my display is designed to sort of get a feel for things to start with and the first few manoeuvres I do two or three times and by that time I've got a good idea how much grip I've got and, and, and you, you do have to, well, when it's very slippy it's, it's much easier to make the car slide but it's much more difficult to make it stop in the right place so it does uh, test you a little bit more when it's wet. When you've got a really dry tarmac you can attack and, uh, and know you can make the car you can position the car a lot more accurately, but but it, it never stops me. I, I remember one show I did in Jakarta, the in, in Indonesia motor show, and I actually did my whole display in four inches of standing water. The crowd got drenched. Cars I, I use uh, go straight back in the showroom after I finish them, with them. I, I normally keep them for about six thousand miles, and then they're, they're replaced. And um, they, they, nobody would know what my cars have done. They take no harm whatsoever. There's a couple of little modifications I do. The car that drives on two wheels, I need to modify the differential on that. So that's a, a trick I do. But, but the car that I use for everything else, all I do is put a piece of sticky tape over the handbrake button to make it a fly-off handbrake, and I take a, the fuses out to disable the ABS. Apparently that's an absolutely standard car. I'm, I'm not a stuntman and I'm not a daredevil. All my tricks have come, out, come about through my involvement with auto testing and 90% and of my display are, are, are purely auto test techniques. So, uh, and I, uh, but, but having said that, I, I, a job I'm doing tomorrow is a pop video with Cheryl Cole and, and the precision and the, the accuracy that you need to do my sort of thing makes you a very safe person to, to do things for TV and, and, and film that uh, just need someone who is uh, going to be safe and confident uh, to be in close proximity with, with uh, actors and, uh, and stars. I, I, the skills are, are fairly unique to what I do. I, I don't even I drive. Christine, my partner, does, drives when we go anywhere. I, I'm not, uh, I, I've got some classic cars which I love driving very, very sedately in the Yorkshire Dales where I live. Uh, but. Um, I, I, I think uh, I, I'd like to think I am a, a good driver and a very safe driver, which is more than anything else. I, uh, I, I'm sort of very proud of a clean driving license and, and, and like to advocate, advocate safe and responsible driving and, uh, and try and promote that wherever I can.